Hey guys, myself Rakesh and welcome back to another Python tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how can you do a string format in Python. First of all, one need to have an understanding what is string format Rakesh, right? One will have that question. So let's get a practical example. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to write a variable, okay? And here I'm saying the variable name as small text okay small text and then I'm saying um, the number of the number of products sold today is right let's say you want to say 30 so this is a simple string what if every day this value will change today is 30 tomorrow it will be 35 tomorrow it could be 10 12 right it could be any number right 31 so how do you how do I uh, keep on you no know, I don't want this uh, string uh, to remain um, a constant one rather it should be a dynamic one so this can be done through string format what I will do I will create a variable on top of that saying let's say uh, so quantity sold quantity let's say sold quantity okay and I'm going to give it a value let's say here the value this variable value can be easily changed let's say whatever value I'm providing over here let's say I'm saying 35 today is it's 35 and here I'm going to replace this with a curly braces I'm going to put two curly braces and here in the variable I'm saying sold quantity ensure there's no space okay uh, 35 okay that is done after that how do I ensure what Anytime I change it over here, it should change the value over here automatically and should print. So for that, all I can do simply write text is equals to look at this very simple text is equal to text dot. Then I have to say format format is the function and then within that. So it will understand the moment whatever argument you are going to pass within this parenthesis is going to understand. Okay, I have to take this value and put it over here. Okay, so here we are going to provide the variable. What is the variable name? Sold quantity. Okay, I'm going to provide the variable name. The moment I provide the variable name, what would happen? It understands, okay, whatever the value this variable contains, it should go and place it here. So it understands automatically when we write format. So let's print this and see the output. Print and I'm going to say within parenthesis, I'm going to say text simple D did you get this until here so let's run this control s f5 so what happened the number of products sold today is 35 let's say tomorrow is changing all i have to do only one place i have to change it 75 control s f5 and you can see it is changing now you will say rakesh is it possible instead of putting a variable can i directly pass the number yes of course you can pass it, it doesn't matter but variable is a good way but yes for learning purpose yes you can do it uh, let's say I'm going to pass um, 89 okay um, so some number let's say today only five products got sold so I'm saying five control s and if I run this so what is the number of products sold today is five so whichever way you want to do you can easily format the sentence this is one of the uh, and this is used in most of the projects you know we use the curly braces to ensure the dynamic Every day if the value is changing, we pass it in that way. Now you will say, Rakesh, what if I also want to show the amount? The number of products sold today is this and total amount is something. Okay. So again, I can use a curly braces. Now here, how do I pass two to values? So either you can create a variable and pass it or directly values also you can pass it. So here let me pass the values directly all I have to put a comma okay put a comma and here I am going to again put a double quote and here I am going to pass the string value okay I am passing the string value um, and the value that I want to pass uh, what if I pass a number directly that's a 75 even the number will take okay 75 and here I want to say total amount is 1200 let's say control s f5 okay so you can see uh, not required that you have to because format will do the job okay it will automatically format into string so you don't have to worry about it simply i'm giving a number so 75 uh, 1200 i pass and it, it is going to 
put that number into the required space so here you can see uh, it said 75 and 1200 okay let's say i want to pass a um, text okay i'll say nil and i will say nil that means nothing was sold today okay now what would happen because you are not pro because it is a uh, string ensure it is quoted otherwise it will think it is a variable okay and it will throw error so ensure you try to put it double quote control s f5 getting it so it is saying product sold today is nil and total amount is nil getting it so this is one of the interesting way of formatting string guys so thank you so much for watching it uh, for all such python uh, series python learnings please do subscribe to my channel we are going to come up with more such python tutorials thank you take care bye bye